Hi everyone, welcome to Siri Pushara Kimia Awa. In this video, we are going to go through the topic of quantum numbers. We will give you the definition of an orbital. Orbital is the region of space. Where is the space? Around the nucleus, where it has a high probability to find the electron. Before this, at SPM level, when you draw an electron configuration, you can draw electron anywhere in orbit, right? But for this topic, we will place the electrons in their specific position and with their identity by using quantum number. Now, this is our aim. We want to give identity to each electron in the orbital and the identity must be specific to the respective electron. Like for example, each Malaysian citizens are given identity through our MyCard. Have a look at this MyCard. From this MyCard number, we can extract four information. What are they? The first part is the date when we were born. The second part represents the place where we were born. And the last part represents the person specific number. While the last digit of this number indicate the gender. Odd for male, even for female. By comparing to the analogy I've shown before, we can also give specific identity, which is the quantum number for each of the electron in the orbital. They are rule and regulation that we must follow in giving the identity. The location and energy for every electron in the atom is determined by the set of quantum numbers that describe different atomic orbitals. An orbital is the region in space around the nucleus where there is a high probability of finding an electron. There are four types of different orbitals. S, P, D, and F orbitals. In terms of energy, S orbital has the lowest energy followed by P, D, and F orbital. Every single type of the orbital has a different shapes and they look like this. Remember, the shapes are not electrons. It's just the region in space where electrons can be and each one of them can hold up to two electrons. The more electrons an atom has, more orbitals will be needed. Each electron in an atom is described by four different quantum numbers. But what is exactly the quantum numbers? Quantum numbers describe the location of the electrons around the nucleus just like a home address. A set of four quantum numbers are namely as principal quantum number, angular momentum quantum number, magnetic quantum number, and spin quantum number. Let us have a look at each of the quantum numbers. The first quantum number is the principal quantum number, represented by the letter N. This quantum number determines the energy and size of the atomic orbital. It can only have positive integer values such as 1, 2, 3, to infinity. As n increase, the orbital becomes larger and the distance of electron from the nucleus will also increase. Next is the angular momentum quantum number represented by the letter L. It indicates the shape of the atomic orbital. The possible values of L are 0 up to n minus 1. For example, when n is 1, L must be 0. When n is 2, L could be 0 or 1. And when n is 3, L could be 0, 1, or 1, because 2 is n minus 1. So, as you can see, the value of L is determined by n. L value describes the shape of orbital. 
L equals zero described as orbital, which is a spherical shape. It is only one of these orbitals, and it can hold a maximum of two electrons. When L is one, it describes P orbital, which is a dumbbell shape. There are three of these orbitals on three different axes, and it can hold a maximum of six electrons. When L is two, it describes the D orbital, which is the clover leaf shape. There are five D orbitals, and it can hold a maximum of 10 electrons. If you like to know how to draw the orbitals, click the link below. Now, we have the magnetic quantum number represented by the letter M. This quantum number explains the effect of n orbital in magnetic field, such as the orientation of n orbital. Orbitals split up into degenerate orbitals, which is having the same energy and size in a magnetic field. Thus, it can determine how many orbitals of each type occupied with electrons in energy level. The possible values of M depend on the value of L. They can be any value from negative L to L. For example, when L is 2, M will be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Let us take a look for more examples. For example, when L is 0, M must also be 0. And that's why there was only a 1S orbital per energy level. When L is 1, M will be negative 1, 0, and 1. Therefore, it will have 3 P orbitals per energy level. The last quantum number is the spin quantum number, S. The value of S determine the direction of spinning motion of an electron, either clockwise or anti-clockwise. This quantum number can be either positive half or negative half. So every electron in an atom has a unique set of quantum numbers. Let's try to describe different set of quantum number and what they mean. When N is 1, L is 0 and M must also be 0. This means we are describing the 1, 1S orbital. It can accommodate 2 electrons which can have spin value positive half or negative half respectively. This is the lowest energy orbital. So any atom in the pretty table will fill this orbital first. After we give the value of each quantum number, which is N, L, M, and S. Now is the time to write down the set of the quantum number. For example, in 1S orbital, we write down the quantum number in the bracket. And we start with the N quantum number, followed by L, M and the last one is S. Since the maximum number of electrons in one S orbital is two electron, so there are only two possible sets of quantum numbers in this orbital. The first one, or for the first electron, the set of the quantum number is one. 0, 0, and positive half. And another one is 1, 0, 0, and negative half. Now we are going to look for another example. 
when the electrons fill up the second energy level which is when n is 2 when n is 2 l can be 0 and 1 when l is 0 m also must be 0 that giving us 1 2 s orbital it can accommodate 2 electrons which can have spin value positive half or negative half respectively when l is 1 m values will be negative 1 0 and 1 that giving us 3 2p orbitals it can accommodate up to 6 electrons with spin value of positive half or negative half Okay, let's we write down the set of the quantum numbers for all electrons in the 2p orbital. As we know that in 2p orbital, they can accommodate 6 electrons. So, there are 6 possible sets of quantum numbers in the orbital. Now, let's we start with the first set of the quantum numbers in this orbital the first one is 2 1 0 and positive half and the next one is 2 1 0 and negative half we can see from this set of the quantum numbers they are same value of the n quantum number and the l quantum number because this is 2p orbital so the difference is only in the magnetic quantum number m and also spin quantum number when we continue the set of the quantum numbers we get all this value so there are six sets of the quantum numbers in the 2p orbital because there are six electrons in this orbital so to summarize n tell us the energy level and size of orbital l tell us the type and shape of orbital m tell us a specific orientation of orbital and s tell us the spinning motion the four quantum numbers indicating the electron's address each electron of an atom have a unique set of quantum numbers okay hope you enjoy the video don't forget to like subscribe share and click the notification the bell icon if you want to be notified when our new videos are uploaded thanks for watching guys bye